keep California cowgirls from vanishing. Welcome to the Urban Cowgirl Show. Training our horses and miniature cows in ranch versatility. Penning, Rusty and Susie, our bull and heifer. Roping Rusty with Morgan Horse, Sammy. Training Eve to work over her haunches with a motor cow simulator. Training Eve on a cow roping simulator. Sadie practices over the haunches with an ATV mechanical cow simulator. Pulling slack. And Susie's coming my way because she feels the pressure behind her horns. In a large grassy pasture, we train Eve and Sadie to ground drive and pull objects when they are connected to our homemade pairs. Harness training pole made with ABS and PVC. Today, we're going to the very next small step with Firecrest Easter Eve. We are going to lift the harness pole. We're training her to allow the harness pole to be attached to her and then maybe if it goes well today, walk around a little bit with it attached to her. Last time we brought it up to her breast. We showed you where we would hook if we were gonna, but we didn't last time because we always do things one small step at a time. So, Knowing Eve the way I do, I don't think she'll be afraid when I lift. So I'm going to lift it slowly. It's all right, Eve. Can you slide that back over a little bit? Put it in position. Good. Bring it back a little bit. Line it up with her collar. Remember, picture another horse here. This is what we're doing to uh, train our Morgans. Eve and Sadie, her daughter, to be harness horses in pairs. Now I am going to, she's standing nicely even though it's a little bit windy. I'm hooking up a quick release. It's all right. Last time I let her feel what it would be like to feel this harness pole on the front. I also am looking at the height of the harness pole. She's got her overcheck on so she can't pull her head down too much. That's what the overcheck strap is all about. I'm going to release the tug strap. Oh, we had chains connected. Oh, to extend them? Yeah. They were the dog choke chains. Uh, okay. All right. We forgot to put some chains on here, which will make these tug straps long enough to reach the quick releases on the back of the harness pole. So since she's standing nicely, we're going to stop the camera for a moment. I'm going to go find the chains, and we'll let you know when we're ready to go again. Well, we're all hooked up with Eve. We've got some chain extensions to go to the back of the training harness pole. We're hooked up with a quick release here. The front of her collar. We've got an extra person to pick up on that back of the harness pole in case Eve starts getting concerned about the fact that there's going to be noises and this pole feeling on her out here in the wide open spaces. We've done this in a smaller area in a more confined place, but we know that for farming we have to be able to do it in a large area because we hope to be farming on large plots of land with my Morgan horses. So what we're going to do and show you, we hope, is that these tug straps connected to that 
um, to those quick releases that are connected to the back of the training harness pole will uh, allow us, I'm pretending like I'm another horse here and holding this side up, because remember this is pairs pulling, allow us to ask Eve to step forward a couple steps. One thing that I'm concerned about, and I'm going to have to think about this and address it in future sessions if I remain concerned, is the fact that if Eve starts to dance around, will that left hind foot step over this harness pole? Because you see how low it is. Um, you know, uh, can you pick it up, Erin, for a minute? And, and let her know you're picking it up. It's okay, Evie. There you go. There you go. You see, uh, if that harness pole is attached to a fork cart, which I'm planning on having to help us do this farm work, I would want the extension of the fork cart to keep that harness pole up off the ground like this. Really, I think that that's the objective. I'm a member of the Small Farmers Journal. And every quarter we get a new journal. Um, I'm expecting my new one any day now. I keep reading the articles, looking at the pictures. I haven't yet started to chat with other small farmers around about these issues, but I do watch a lot of programs on RFD TV. And uh, I look to see how this equipment is uh, put together for the various rigs that I watch when we have pulling and farming horses on the programs. Now for Sadie, I would definitely want the harness pole to be up about this height in the back. For Eve, she's probably okay with it lower because she doesn't tend to dance around like Sadie, her youngster, her daughter uh, does uh, because of lack of repetition, lack of training, lack of confidence. So what I want to do today, I make my decisions one small step as, at a time as I go. What I want to do today is just because we have the extra hand here, just step forward without it being on the ground. We may at the very end, if all goes well, put it down, step forward a step or two so we see how she behaves when she feels the pull, the drag of that back PVC piece on the ground. But we're just going to step forward a couple steps. Step up. Good, Eve. OK, woo. Oh. Good. Good, Eve. Good, Eve. OK, now, let's see if she's going to dance around. Is she going to start throwing her head? There's some flies around here. She looks OK. She looks relaxed. Look at her back leg is cocked. Okay, Erin, let's, let's do this. Let's just put it down very gently. It's all right, Eve. It's all right, Eve. She's okay on that. And then there's one more thing I want to do because I've trained a lot of horses with objects like this. Can you pick it up again, Erin? And we're going to uh, stop the camera for a moment, and I'm going to show you when we turn it back on, why? I'm going to the tack room for one more chain. Next time we're going to put this dog collar on both sides back here. So it's a little bit farther back and we'll keep the tug straps out of the way. Aaron has a chain that we attached so that he can very slowly let that down. Woo. She's getting a little antsy, you see. Maybe we're asking too much of her today. Can you let it down a little bit, but not all the way, Aaron? Good girl. And yet he can still hold on to it. Hey. Woo. It's all right. She's not quite as relaxed looking right now, but that training harness pole is uh, about where I want it to be. It is going to be too low if we go all the way down to the ground. So we have to think about ways to deal with that problem before we have our four cart to use. So with it that low, Aaron, let's do another couple steps, Katie, with ground driving lines. And that's all we'll do for today. If all goes well, next time we'll 
try to fix some of the problems we noticed this time. Okay. Step up. Step up, Eve. Good. Very nice. Okay. Woo. Oh. Oh. Now this thing shook back and forth, but she was okay with it. I might not have noticed that that was going to be something that I have to desensitize them to. Now, to, to unharness, it's all right, Eve, it's all right. First thing I'm going to do, ooh, it's getting windy too. Disconnect the tug straps, put them back up here on a safe place. Remember, we're still connected here. Disconnect this side. Put the tug strap back up here in a safe place. Disconnect with a quick release here. Move it off to the side. And we've accomplished our next small step. Here we are with Sadie, my youngest Morgan mare. She needs the most desensitization for all this tack because she hasn't had as much experience with it. She especially needs desensitization down low on her rear legs. Katie, can you let that, those tug straps fall down low? And touch her, yes, 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 so that she doesn't want to kick out at them. Can you do it with the right hand as well? But you know, this isn't a fair test. We got to get her in motion, thinking about other things. Then when she feels something like this, hope that we've done it often enough and explain to her by pressure or no pressure what the right answer is. And the right answer is not to do this. Now last night on Rural Heritage on RFD TV, I watched a program about draft horses pulling very long, heavy logs through very thick forests in an urban setting. Single draft horses. The reason they couldn't use pairs is because the trees were too close together. And I watched the tug straps and the chains on those draft horses, and they fell way down on the legs. Let me kind of point. It's all right, Sadie. It's all right. Down to here. Down, almost just above the ankle. And I thought, well, how come those draft horses aren't kicking out at them? Well, they've been desensitized, sacked out to them. I came to that conclusion. So rather than worrying too much about the tug straps uh, going down too low and the training harness pole going down too low, we're going to concentrate next on all my Morgan horses to get them to be sacked out, desensitized to such feelings on their back legs. Uh, she was a little bit of a, a nervous horse when we tacked her up. Not real bad though. Uh, but here's what we tacked her up with. It's all right. It's all right. Blinders, collar, tug straps, saddle, and britchin. And the crouper under the tail. It's all right, Sadie. I'm pointing to the crouper. Now that's one of the most difficult pieces of tack. Just a little leather strap that goes under the tail. But it feels real funny to a horse that hasn't felt that before. And Sadie's felt it, but we need to desensitize her more. Now our objective today, again, in the spirit of one small step at a time, besides just driving her around here and allowing those straps to touch her every which way on the back legs without being hooked up to anything. Because when you're hooked up, that's when the commitment is and that's where the danger is. Being hooked up to something that you cannot easily disengage in case there is a spook. So we have a whole lot of desensitizing to do before we actually hook up. but. Will Sadie accept this training pole next to her out here in the wide open pasture, as did her mother um, a couple days ago? Her mother is much better at this. She's more experienced, different disposition. So what we're going to do is Aaron, my, my cameraman, is going to leave the camera on. He's going to come over here. And after I pick up the front end and bring it close to Sadie's front of her collar, he's going to pick up the back end these chains 
just so it's off the ground. And if we're feeling comfortable, if we're seeing relaxation and focus from Sadie, we might step a few steps forward. It's all right, Sadie. Now she has blinders. And you know what, Erin, before we actually even bring it close to her, let's walk it around her so she can see him. So we're going to leave the camera on and you're going to watch us do this desensitization. When we go to the side of her body, you'll probably notice that she wants to follow it. It's her nature. And these blinders, in some respects, is against nature. But they're used for cart driving. We took them off for semi in her log pulling and harrow pulling experiences because we felt that they were interfering with the process. We may take them off for Sadie and Eve if we can get them off. This is a different kind of harness than our other one. We're not sure we can get them off and still have all the important parts on the head stall to have things like this overcheck. What is an overcheck? Well, it's going to keep her head from going down if she wants to go down to eat grass or something like that. Because you sure don't want them doing that when they're walking around with all this tack, when they're pulling a cart, when they're uh, connected to a training uh, harness pole or a four cart harness pole. Okay, come on up, Erin. Let's just walk forward. It's all right, Sadie. She'll see it. She's seeing it. It's all right. It's all right. Good girl. Ah, she is getting nervous. Easy. It's okay. It's all right, Sadie. She's not licking her lips. <laughs> She's biting her bit. That's a sign of concern. Let's go around this way. Let her watch it. Now let's watch her head when we get to the side of her body where she can't see this thing. Easy. Good girl, Sadie. It's all right, Sadie. I'm talking to her. It's all right, Sadie. It's all right. Let's try to go all the way around, Katie. It's all right. Easy, we'll only Katie. do this Easy. if we're getting the right answer. No, you see, she wants to watch it. <laughs> She's not ready to let this thing go behind her. It's all right, Sadie. Let's turn around, Erin, and let's just bring it close to her. We'll work on that, uh -uh. getting it to go behind her so she's not worried about whether or not it's going to attack her. Okay, let's go put, put the back white piece of PVC in between Katie and Sadie, but not touching Sadie's legs. Okay, now a little closer. We're going to pretend on the other horse, because remember this is for pairs driving, uh, pairs log pulling. And maybe even pairs driving in the future. Okay, okay, put it, put it down. We're going to adjust the camera to make sure you can see all of this. And while we're doing that, I'm letting her investigate. She's smelling this thing. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, good girl. Biting at her bit again. Uh -uh. This is lightweight. Just for this reason, I need to be able to move it around. Are we okay? Oh. Okay, let's see if we can keep her in the same spot. If we can't, we'll move the camera. We always like to have four people on the team, but today we only have three. Our objective next is just to pick up the back end, move it over closer to Sadie. You see, she's looking. She's saying, what's, what's that noise I hear? It's all right. A little farther back. It's all right. It's all right. Nope. Uh -uh. Nope. Move it away, Aaron. Okay. It's uh -oh. all right. It's all right. Let's move it away, Aaron. Move it away. It. Okay. Let's, until she stops again. Oh. And then can you come back into camera's view, Katie? It's all right. It's all right. Back. Oh. Lot of stress. A. The butt. I'm going to walk around. Okay. If they get stressed and want to move, generally speaking, if it's safe enough, let them move. It's their nature. They're a flea prey animal. Good. Good. Oh. Good. Good girl. Let's see if we can get her to stand. 
Make nice. It's all right. She sees this white PVC. She's going to investigate it. There you go. Gets a little nervous, though. <laughs> what is that thing? It doesn't smell like what I'm used to. Pull it back, Erin. It's all right. Oh. Good girl. It's all right. Okay, put, pick it up and go a little closer. We just want to make sure if she starts dancing around, she doesn't get hung up in these poles. In the ABS and the PVC, a little farther back if she stands. A little farther back towards Katie. Easy. See, she doesn't want me to come back here because that means I'm behind her peripheral vision. I don't blame her. There she goes. See, she keeps stepping back. Erin, we have to stay alert because if she does bolt, we sure don't want her to bolt over this thing. Okay, now go back into position farther to say Katie's feet. Be right there. Good. Good. And then slightly down. It's all right. It's all right. Again, she's checking it out. Will she stand? It's all right. It's all right. What's my moment of resolution? Well, there's a carabiner right here. There's a quick release right here. I'm not going to connect today, but I could. I'm close enough that I could. And can you straighten it out? Make it more parallel. It's all right. And quietly put it down, but don't let go. There you go. There's our moment of resolution. Okay, now we're going to move it back out of the way. And Katie is going to continue to walk around this pasture. And Aaron's going to take the camera and follow us. I'm going to be close by in case there's a problem because it's getting windy. Let me have the uh, straps. I have a lead line here, some uh, dog, dog leash extensions, extensions to the drive lines in case we want more space. And when you can, Katie, yeah. uh, put the, yeah, let the, let the, harn the tug straps or the lead lines come down. Eventually, we'll do it with the tug straps as well. As a matter of fact, you know, we could pull the tug straps down and use these dog leashes to extend so that another person next to you can be manipulating the tug straps to desensitize her to this, to sack her out to those feelings at the bottom of her back legs. So far, she hasn't kicked out once, right, Katie? Right. Okay, stop her for a minute. Oh. I'm putting this lead line right here in case I need it. We've got a third oh. person in case we need it. It's all right. I just want to see if my plan would work. It's all right. It's all oh. right. I've got the tug strap down here. But if she starts to bolt, it's all right. See, she's nervous. It can connect to this dog leash. Will this plan work? Yeah, I think it will. Next to Katie, who's driving, I could take these tug straps and touch the bottom of her back legs. Can you see this on the camera? Erin, is it clear? Yeah, this is our technique for desensitizing to these feelings. She's being good now. And you know it's a hard call. It's starting to get windy. She's been real good, a little bit antsy, but basically good. Let's see if I can duck under here for a minute. I don't, if she starts to bolt off, I don't want these tug straps hanging on the ground, getting all wrapped around her legs. But you see, this is what I'm trying to do. Erin, can you slowly zoom in? I'm trying to get these feelings. And you know what? Not only on the outside of the legs, but on the inside of the legs. So that's going to mean we've got to manipulate things here. Very carefully do things with enough help in case there is a spook, a bolt. We've got to make sure she's totally desensitized, as total as any prey animal like a horse can be. And then we'll give it a try. We'll commit. 
will commit to hooking the tug straps up to the training harness pole and with somebody walking behind and somebody walking at the head and Katie doing the drive lines walk around this pasture. Okay. It's open space. It's in fence, but it's open space and who knows what might spook her. I'm gonna go back here and duck under. Then I'm gonna release this leash from this tug strap. We always have clasps. Assuming we don't have a spooking animal that's running away that we can easily hook back up to keep these straps out of the way. And that's it. We're done for today showing you how we're making Shadrach Sun and Shine Sadie, a farming horse who will drive in pairs with her mother, Firecrest, Easter Eve. Well, in today's session, we're just going to stand even Sadie on either side of this pole and lift it up. All we have on them is their collars. We don't need to harness them up for all of this. Right now, while we're waiting, uh, Katie's just working on desensitizing those back legs. And we've got all kinds of straps and chains and so forth on this harness pole for training purposes. Symmetrical, uh, strong. We just made do with dog collars and so forth. So it's inexpensive, thrifty, and the next thing you'll see, we're going to turn off the camera, we're going to line up the horses, and then turn the camera back on and show you what the objective is. We are now lined up. It wasn't hard at all. About as high as we would want it if we were using a four cart. Sadie's a little bit spooky. Okay, okay. You see, she's moving away. I don't know if you can see that. Eve is steadfast here. Okay, let's put it down again, Erin. We're going to let uh, Katie try to get her a little bit closer, parallel to the training harness pole like her mom is. All right, if we can lift one more time and they stand there for just a few seconds, I'd be happy. Okay, ready? Up we go. To the height that we'd want if we were actually... Farming, using this training harness pole, and eventually we'll be pulling something behind that white long piece of PVC in the back. And down we go. And I'm sure you can't hear it, but all these clasps and chains are making noises, but they were really good. So we're calling this our note of resolution. Our cast of characters, Sadie and Eve. Sammy, Rusty, and Susie. Heifer calf, Sela. For more information, www.cowgirlchannel.com. <laughs>